Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So there is this brand new feature that I kind of stumbled across that has to do with Blender 2.82. And this feature has to do with, you know, you being able to decimate your keyframes whenever you're done or whenever you're trying to work or whenever you're doing an animation. So we're going to actually go ahead and take a look at it by simply using a BVH that you can download for free at the Carnegie Mellow University. So we blend that open right here. What we can do is, you know, press F4 on your keyboard, go over here and choose to import a BVH motion. So with this BVH motion imported, the next thing which we want to do is just play this thing back and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have a very cool motion going on here. By default, you can easily clean or smooth your keyframes directly in blender so what we want to do is to actually check out this new cool feature so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to split this into two different paints and come over here and switch this to graph editor so with the graph editor right here the next thing which i need to do is come over here and simply click on this button that has to do with the animation this on the other hand has to do with the stance pose while this has to do with the animation so if you're coming over from you know maya motion builder side of things you kind of get the idea so next thing which you want to do is just simply click here and you're going to see a catastrophe of motions happening there now if you're using blender and you get to see something like this it simply means that you have way more keyframes than your time range actually has so what you can do is just simply you know increase your time range or your time slider for the guys coming through maya and you can see that there another thing which we can do is if you just simply hold down control and use your middle mouse you can actually spread this apart you can also go through here to actually get these things click here to close them out or you know just turn these things on next thing which you want to do is just simply select one particular part and then i'm going to simply press the period button or the full stop button and then we can actually zoom into that section now in the previous version of uh blender what you can do is you can grab onto a certain part so i'm just going to move over to this place and you can easily come over to the key and simply do smooth key this works and it actually looks really really cool but it doesn't change the fact that you still have a lot of keyframes so we're going to click over here where we have the key and go down here to decimate allow change so once you do that and you know click over here you will be able to max out the errors and you can easily do that slowly and you can get something looking really cool all right so this time you now have the bezier handles which you can play with or you can come over back to this part called the key go over here where you have the decimate ratio and with the middle mouse you can decimate the frames you know get the very relevant ones you want to work with and then you can go in play with the bezier handles depending on what you want at any point in time once you just simply click you can see here that we have a little dialogue which you can use to actually run this thing through so that you can get something really really cool that you want to work with i kind of see where this is going to help a lot of people especially when you're cleaning motion capture data and at the same time maybe where you have like very complicated animations and you ended up putting so many keyframes or you're trying to tweak an animation somebody has done i think this is definitely going to help you guys do a whole lot of things way cleaner tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you want to see more videos about this please put down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you guys you can also go ahead and check out the other videos that has to do with a couple of new features that we've talked about for blender 2.82 and probably you're going to find those ones informative as well and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace